What's up, everybody? I'm Christine Williamson. This is Downtime and our first ever guest. I'm, I feel extremely blessed to have you here with us, Vaughn Miller, AKA DJ Sauce, Vaughn the Dawn. I wanted to know how you came up with the name DJ Sauce, Vaughn the Dawn. I hit up uh, Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker is a, a rapper in Houston. And I hit him up and I was like, hey, can you give me a drop for Von Miller? Can you say this is DJ Von Miller? He was like, yeah, man, I'm going to, uh, I'll send you something right now. And it, it, he probably sent it back in like 15 minutes. When he sent it back, he was like, he was like, hey, man, say, man, you listen to DJ Sauce Von the Dunn, the thriller. <laughs> and it was, I was like, DJ Sauce Von the Dunn. And he just made it up. He just made it up. He was like, DJ Sauce Von the Dunn. And all of his drops. Said he sent me like 40 drops and they all said DJ, they all said Sauce Von the Dunn, DJ Sauce Von the Dunn. So I'm like, all right, that's my name. How did you go from practicing in your basement to actually DJing at clubs okay. and stuff? I had one of my friends come over. He was a uh, Young Thug's DJ. He would uh, show me little stuff on the on the controller and stuff. And we would work, we worked like two days straight for eight hours straight. And I got it, I got the hang of it. So I would have everybody come over to the house and I would DJ. And everybody was like, bro, like everybody was like, like, bro, that's 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 good enough to like be in the club with. Like I, this sound like a club. I was like, man, we like it. Everybody's saying they like it. And I really just got like my confidence talking on the mic in the basement, just shouting out my teammates and just saying what's going on in the basement. And then it really gives me the feeling that I get before football games. Like I feel like this nervousness. I feel like I just want to go out there and take advantage of the moment and perform to the best of my uh, yeah. ability. And it just makes me nervous to to go and do that. And I get that same feeling before I DJ. So I, when I knew when I started feeling like that, I was like, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. It's your thing. How do you come up? This is one question that I've always wondered about DJs in general. Like, do they practice the whole set for the whole night? Or do they like, do you have to like get the vibe of the room before you can you gotta, play certain you gotta songs? Profile. You, got, you, you really have to profile people. It's crazy. You gotta profile, you gotta look at people and be like, okay, I, you gotta look at the crowd and you're like, okay, I think they are like this. And then, you know, they react to this song. If they react to, to this song in a great way, I just keep going in that same genre in that same area and I just kind of, you know, fill it out. But the whole time, you know, I'm still gonna be fun and I'm still gonna play the music that I like. I mean, obviously you play football, but what do you hope happens with your DJing? You know, I look at Shaq and I see the type of career that he's had DJing and I just, you know, I don't wanna like take over and dethrone Shaq or anything like that. I just wanna, get in that same lane you know I just want to be a yeah. great I just want to be a great uh, celebrity DJ and um what I hope to get from that is you know rock great gigs and rock the house and still be the same football player I am on the field and be the same Von Miller off the field while I'm DJ there's no feeling like being in front of you know 2,000 5,000 people and playing a song and everybody's in unison and rocking out it's there's no feeling like that. And of course I can't rap or sing or dance or any, I can't dance, but. I was gonna say, you, wait, hold you, up, didn't you dance? I can't dance. <laughs> you know, that's that's just, you know, my way of, uh, it just feels good. I, I, I it, it just feels great to go and rock the house like that. Uh, speaking of dancing, I'm surprised you're not on TikTok. I don't know. Like that. why hasn't that happened yet? I don't know, I just, uh, you know, I'm a, I sh you're right. You, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get, right when we get on this interview, I'm gonna get on TikTok. <laughs> Do you, have should, you been, have been, you been watching the been dances? On, I should have been on TikTok, you're right. Are you going to be one of those people that does everybody else's dances or are you going to try to come up with your own thing? Probably a little bit of both. You know, I got to, okay. you know, I got to get the people what they want to see, but at the same time, I got to, you know, give them a dose of fun. You know, I got to be original, creative stuff. You talked about BMAC and I, I feel like when I was with the Broncos, y'all weren't as close as you guys are now, were you? Yeah, we were close. It's just, I mean, it's just. That was probably like year one. That was here year two. Of your, yeah. Yeah, and it's just like, I even got a picture of them right here. I don't know if I can flip the camera up. This is in the living room right here. Oh my gosh. That is, and I got, is, is that I got one, what is that? It's BMAC lining up for extra point, right? Oh my God, that's it's amazing. Just, it's just one like little wall backlit. Like what the heck? <laughs> you did mention Drew Locke, and I was going to talk about him because even though you guys did win me a Super Bowl, I do have a Super Bowl ring. 
mm -hmm. uh, that was given to me by you guys. I don't really know if I can consider myself a Broncos fan that much longer, but oh, seeing Drew Locke being saucy on the sidelines, I was like, wait, that might be my quarterback. Like, yeah. Drew Locke is like, is like sneaky saucy. Man, Drew, I, you know, I, I just, you know, being a pass rusher, being a pass rusher in international football, like I played against a lot of greats from Cam Newton to Tom Brady to Matt Ryan, Aaron Rodgers. I played against all the greats. And I, I just yeah. feel like I can just see a good quarterback. And Drew is Drew is gonna be a great quarterback and he just has this he he just has this vibe, this glow about him. Let's talk about this defense because I read something yesterday that said that this could be the scariest defense since 2015 but it looks completely different obviously right so what makes you most excited because I, I know that after the last y'all's last one against the Raiders last year you said you guys were done with this losing and that next year it's all about winning so what are you most excited about going into the season when it comes to the defense specifically um I'm mostly excited about getting Chubb back you know because he started to go off he started to go off mm -hmm. and he towards ACL so I'm excited to have Chubb. I'm excited to have A.J. Bouye on my team. You know, mm -hmm. I've been a fan of his game for a really long time. I'm excited to have Gerald Casey. He's been a great D tackle, one of the top D tackles in the league for the last five years. You know, I'm, I'm sad to lose Wolf, but I'm excited to, you know, have Gerald Casey in there. We got a pretty stout defense. We got Justin Simmons, of course. Don't let me forget Justin. Sorry, Justin. <laughs> J Justin Simmons and Kareem Jackson. You know, those guys been, them guys been working and, you know, so it's gonna be a, so it's gonna be a really good year. I'm excited about it. Thanks for thanks for being here. Talk yes, later. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.